So guys, Christmas is over and I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, but it's nearly time to put the Christmas decorations away. The new year is approaching and I thought I'd show you guys the huge amount of art supplies I got for Christmas. This is going to definitely make you jealous. And honestly, I was so spoiled this year. I was so excited to show you guys. So yeah, this is the first thing I got. It's Bristol board. If you don't know what Bristol board is, it's like an alternative to marker paper. Many marker papers are very, very thin. Almost like tracing paper, I'd say, but not quite. They are very thin and kind of transparent and not as transparent as tracing paper, but it is transparent. But Bristol board is not. It's like a thick, really, really smooth paper. Almost card, but not quite because it's a lot more pliable. You see now when I open the um, notepad that you can see that it is quite pliable, but it is quite thick as well. And it's so smooth and soft and white. I got a really big pack of it, 20 sheets. The second thing I got was a pack of brush markers from Windsor Newton. These are grey tones. And what I love about this is you get some cool grey tones and you get the warm grey tones. So you don't have to like make do with what you got. You got both ends of the spectrum and you got a blender in this as well. So it was fantastic. And I really wanted the brush markers because I got one at the start of this year, I think it was. Just, I picked it up because I wanted to see what the pens were like. And I picked up the most random, like, bright green colour. And I fell in love with the type of pens they were. So I asked my dad for markers this year and he gave me these. And what he also got me was another set of markers. Um, these are rich tones. Um, I did want the mid-tones, but they didn't have them in stock. So I got rich tones because I do have mid-tones in normal uh, markers, like alcohol-based pro markers. You know, I can mix and match. And then I got also skin tones. So I was completely spoiled markers. Don't think I'll have to buy markers for a very long time. These skin tones are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I cannot wait to start using these, especially with the Bristol, pa Bristol board, Bristol paper. Honestly, so excited to try these out. And as you can see, I swatched them all. They're absolutely lovely colors. Then the next thing I got is some hot press watercolor paper. I actually got this off my grandfather for Christmas and I was so surprised because I've never tried hot press watercolour paper before mainly because it is quite expensive and uh, you know I just can't afford to buy it but it's so smooth and I've never had watercolour paper that smooth like you can see me feeling it there on the camera it's gorgeous and I almost don't want to use it so pretty I also got off my dad's some watercolour paper this is like my favourite brand of watercolour paper it's the Aquafine it goes with my paint set that you see me use all the time this one has quite a bumpy texture to it I'm trying to show you here I, you can kind of see it and it's it's definitely not smooth and it's cold pressed so yeah that's <laughs> the watercolour paper that I got I also got the bigger set of the Aquafine pocket brush set that I have and I'm so excited about this because it's like it is, it is meant to be the bigger set, but the, the colours are a lot brighter. Like, you get a bright green and a bright blue that you just don't get in the other set. And, uh, I mean, you do get green and blue, but they're definitely not as, um, as bright. I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? They're not as uh, neon-y, but they're not neon, but they're almost. Um, you see me here swatching. They're very, very vivid, bright colours. And now, this isn't the best representation of what they can look like, because this is done on just a plain sheet of printer paper. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd swatch them out, let you see what kind of colours are in here. And as you can see, they're lovely watercolours, and I'm going to have so much fun using them. Next, I got a whole bunch of amazing brushes, um, and you'll see why. And I also got off my grandfather, which we'll see now, some fantastic watercolour brushes. They're graduate Windsor and oh no, they're Dale Rowney watercolour brushes. Absolutely beautiful. Number 12 and a number one. And then I got like a wash brush as well. I just kind of like, I've always said I needed a bigger brush to do washes. Now I have one. And then finally, I got some watercolour paint. I actually bought this for myself out of Christmas money. Did I say watercolour paint? I meant acrylic paint because I just don't have any acrylic paint in the house. I have gouache inside. Not a lot of it, but I have gouache but I didn't have any acrylic paint. So I decided to get myself some acrylic paint for Christmas. And as you can see, it's a lovely set. And I also got two single ones because I wanted like a skin tone and I have to like mess around and try and, you know, do it up myself. And I also got a lovely purple. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, I hope you like this haul. Um, let me know if you're jealous in the comments down below. And I hope that Santa was good to you all and you had a great Christmas and I hope you have an even better New Year's. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye!